Hello, I'm Leanne Sparr. In this section, we will be discussing the sum of the year's digits method of depreciation. Specifically, we will discuss the following objectives. We will understand the sum of the year's digits method of depreciation. We will find the depreciation fraction for the sum of the year's digits method. We will use the sum of the year's digits method to find the amount of depreciation for each year, and we will prepare a depreciation schedule for the sum of the year's digits method. Now let's describe the sum of the year's digits method, and let's use it to do an exercise. The sum of the year's digits method of depreciation uses a depreciation fraction and produces results between the straight line and the double declining balance method of depreciation. So let's use this method to look at this asset that costs $15,650. It has an estimated life of six years and an estimated scrap value of $2,000. We want to find the depreciation and we want to find the book value. With the sum of the year's digits method, the denominator of the depreciation fraction is n times n plus 1 over 2, where n is the estimated life. So the denominator of our fraction for this particular asset will be 6 times 7 over 2, which is 21. So our first year's fraction will be 6 over 21. And that fraction will decline by 1 each year. Our first year's depreciation will be 6 over 21 multiplied times, we have to have $15,650 subtract the scrap value of $2,000. So $15,650 subtract $2,000 is $13,650. So our first year's depreciation will be $3,900. And the book value will be $15,650, subtract the depreciation $3,900, so the book value after the first year will be $11,750. Now let's use the sum of the year's digits method to prepare a depreciation schedule. Old South Restaurant has remodeled its dining area at a cost of $14,400. The expected life of the remodeling is four years, at which time the salvage value is estimated to be $2,400. Complete a depreciation schedule using the sum of the year's digits method of depreciation. The first thing we need to do is to find the denominator of the depreciation fraction. So the denominator will be 4 times 5 divided by 2, which is 10. So our denominator each year will be 10 and the numerator will decrease by 1 each year. And we subtract the scrap value from $14,400 to obtain $12,000, and we depreciate the $12,000 each year. So now let's look at our depreciation schedule. I have already prepared this schedule for you in order to save us some time. In year 0, our book value is $14,400. Year 1, our fraction is 4 tenths times $12,000, which is 14,400 subtract the scrap value. So the amount of depreciation is, multiplying this out, is $4,800. Our accumulated depreciation is $4,800, which we subtract from 14,400 to obtain $9,600. The second year, our fraction is 3 tenths. The numerator comes down by 1. We multiply that times the $12,000 to give us an amount of depreciation of $3,600. We add that to the $4,800 to get depreciation in the amount of $8,400. And then we subtract the $3,600 from the $9,600 to obtain a book value of $6,000. For the third year, the computation is 2 tenths times $12,000, which gives us $2,400 depreciation, which we add to the accumulated depreciation to obtain accumulated depreciation of $10,800, and we subtract this number from the book value to show that the value has now come down to $3,600. For the fourth year, our computation is one-tenth times $12,000,
which gives us $1,200 depreciation, which we add to the previously accumulated depreciation to give us $12,000, and we subtract from the book value, and now our book value is $2,400, which is the scrap value. Let's remember when we're doing a depreciation schedule that the book value of an asset at the end of each year is always the original cost minus the accumulated depreciation. In this section, we have looked at the sum of the year's digits method of depreciation. Depreciation is a very important aspect of every business, so you need to practice your methods of depreciation.